Good evening, you lovely people. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Here we are. I'm sweating. I've been stuck in a shed again, an insulated shed while it's hot outside, but I'm here for you. So don't worry. I'm here for you. Uh, just quickly run through and see who we've got in. So we've got, we've got, oh, we've got Tam and Bell in. Hello there, Rich, Marie and Paul. Excited. Uh, we've got Jane Brown in. She says, evening all, Rich, Marie and Hun. We know what you mean. <laughs> uh, Sharon saying hello. Uh, my daughter's in, Jade. Hi, Jade. How you doing? Um, Tam and Belle, Jade. Anya's in. Hi, Anya. Oh, got some news that Anya's told me earlier. And uh, yeah, oh, it's not very good. Hi, Becky. Hope you're well. Um, so I'm just running through. So here we've got, we've got Paul Chop Chops in. We've got loads of people in. Well, we've got 26 so far. That's good. Um, Joan. Uh, probably so. Oh, look, JR's in. Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. Um, we've got UK Reseller in. Hi, how you doing? We've got Helen Craddock in. Good evening. How are you, Helen? Hope you're well. Um, yeah, I'm just going to bring my guests out just while we're still saying hello. Let's say good evening to Paul and Marie. <laughs> How you doing, guys? You all right? Hi. Yeah, all good. We were just talking briefly before before we went live, and uh, you were down my way today, so it's your yeah, anniversary next working. week. Yes, yeah. our, um, 21 years. 21 next years week. married, yeah, on Wednesday. Uh, yes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we've been 20, 24 years we've been together? Yeah, 24 years, yeah. Got together in 98. Yeah, it's crazy uh, how quickly it's gone. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Well, I've put all the links in the description. So if you haven't checked these guys out, go and check them out. Their, their uh, YouTube videos are amazing. Um, and they're lovely people. I've actually met Paul and Marie um, down on Little Hampton Beach. And, yeah, it was it was a windy day, but it was a nice day. Um, we all came away burnt. <laughs> yeah, we all came away with like, you know, third degree burns, but you know, we're all right. It was good. <laughs> but um, yeah, do you just want to introduce yourselves and just, I mean, most people probably know you anyway, but obviously if you, you just want to introduce yourselves, your channel and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're Paul and Marie. Yeah, we're a UK reselling couple from Southampton, Hampshire. Let's do the old. That's what we normally old say, don't we? Yeah. No, <laughs> it's um, a, been, intro. Yes, that's it. <laughs> No, we've been um, we're online for years now. Haven't years, we? yeah. Yeah, and um, sold all sorts, haven't we? Oh yeah, we've done all, <laughs> done all sorts, sold all sorts. Used to yeah. be in retail for a bit, and then yeah. went into the reselling. Yeah, that's it. Um, we've been in sold things in emporiums. Um, we've done all sorts, haven't we? Really, just to to it, not have to work for anyone else. That's, that's our it. Whole, you just you try everything. <laughs> our whole life goal is just to work for ourselves yeah. and um, keep having fun. It's yeah. a lot of hard work. Oh yeah. Um, and we we sort of lost a lot of weight. Um, is it last year? Year before? Last year? Mm, last year. Last year. Mm. And um, that gave us the confidence to start doing YouTube. Yeah. We started. Was yeah. it end of January? Mm. Yeah, end of January, beginning of February. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And um, mm. yeah, it's just been a bit of a. Is that all it was? The end of January. You're smashing it. End of January. Me. Yeah. Yeah. You're in... absolutely killing it. Then on set. 700 and i think i'd look earlier at 726 subs oh, wow, yeah we've been yeah. very lucky people we have, have been very, yeah very kind we don't know why but they've been very supportive and lovely <laughs> <laughs> we've been very lucky haven't we yeah had some lovely comments and um a lot of people send us um lovely comments and mm. lots of support and just oh, yeah. really positive nice things we're we're really mm. really um, sort of chuffed really it's mm. not at yeah. all what we expected was it we just thought it'd be our family watching yeah um, and yeah, they were loving it, yeah, loving thought, life. I never thought like uh, I, when I started it. I mean, I, I think when I actually started doing proper reselling on YouTube, I had twenty six subs, and obviously because I'm not 
just a reselling channel. It's taken me longer to grow, but I'm quite happy with it. And yeah, when people actually started watching and I used to start getting like lives and, you know, I mean, used to be, used to get sort of over a hundred people watching now sort of it sort of tops out at sort of 70 odd now but still i mean that's good and like i always say like as long as there's you know if there's 10 people watching you know i'm i'm happy as long as they're happy with what, what i'm doing um but yeah i wasn't supposed to, obviously not supposed to do lives at the end of the month it's usually a podcast now but where i've been doing the driving and james wasn't very well this week so like we didn't we wasn't able to to record the podcast so hopefully recording that this week coming up and then that will i might put it out before the end of the month and then try record another one before for the end of the month so yeah busy 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 and then as i was saying today we've been to um hampton court palace food festival so that was good trying all the different flavored gins and the different cheeses and <laughs> yeah, really. and actually, I like a bit of oh, cheese. yeah oh, I, I ended up spending 12 quid on a couple of little bits of cheese but really nice um but yeah so that was good and then my wife got a bit of a uh, email saying that someone else was leaving her place she's a manager of a care home so she got a bit stressed so we yeah. went down to the CBD. Um, of it's supposed to de-stress you if you have anxieties and for pain and stuff. Never even, never even tried it before, but like heard loads about it. So we went down and he sprayed a bit under her tongue, and then he said, "Oh, do you want a bit? Are you stressed or anxious?" I said, "Well, I do get anxious and and, and panicky since I sort of lost my brother. Like I get a few things." Mm -hmm. So he said, "Spray some under your tongue." So give it to me. So I, I I went and sprayed it twice, like because like thinking it's like a breath freshener thing. Like, so I sprayed it twice, and it was a strong one. Well, we've walked around a few a few like stalls round, and my wife said, "Do you feel anything?" I said, "Well, I, I think I do." Like she's, I said, "What about you?" She went, "Oh well, I I don't, I just feel like I could go to sleep." I said, "Yeah, I feel absolutely like I could just I could just." lay down now kind of kip <laughs> so like i don't know whether that's what it done it made me so relaxed i wanted to sleep but yeah it was it was um it was really weird i've never never tried it before but yeah that was a that was a bit of a strange one so that might maybe on top of the, the little gin the little, i mean they don't give you loads but once you've been around a few stalls oh yeah you're having a lovely time yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the h bedroom I said to her, listen, she said, oh, I feel like I could go to sleep now. I said, let's sneak up to Henry Oak's bedroom and just, like, get under the blankets. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Right, so let's see who else is. Uh, so we've got Tam and Bell saying, no spoilers, Joe, how much a day? Oh, Cherry's in. Um, my daughter's saying hello. We've got Paul Chop Chop. We've got Sean. Well, is this... Well, is this alive? I thought Rich had been kidnapped by a food cult and was chopping potatoes for freedom. No, not doing that, Sean. <laughs> Always rely on Sean. Uh, got Ian in. Good evening, Ian. Uh, everyone's saying hello to everyone, which is lovely. Uh, Joan saying hi, Paul and uh, Ems. It's actually Paul and Marie. Ems, is the, do, you want to, do you want to explain what your name is? Why you named em, Ems then? Yeah, we... Um, we called our sort of um, eBay name was um, Em's Den mm. after our daughter, Emily, who sort of everything revolves around her, yeah, it doesn't does, it really? Yeah, it does you know, much, it's, what, yes. it's like when you have children, you you know. Mm. Um, yeah. And yeah. we sort of were thinking up a name well, we, we and thought, just, well, that, that'd we, be quite nice. We call her Em's, don't we? We and call her Em's, yeah. yeah. Um, so we thought yeah. Em's and Den sort of rhymes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's how we started. <laughs> so it was as easy as that. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So it's Paul and Marie, but M's Den is their channel. Um, <laughs> if we've got any mods, um, if you stick the link in the chat just so that people can click it easier, it is in the description, like I say, their Instagram and their YouTube. Um, so that's all good. Um, Sharon's saying happy anniversary, Paul and Marie. Uh, Thank it's next you. Week. Uh, Thanks, Joe. Because your channel is so good. That's why I see everyone's saying your channel is good. <laughs> My mum's saying hi, Rich, Paul, and Marie in chat. My oh, mum actually mom. met Peter Cummings today. Uh, she met uh, Pete Sales, the unexpected, and Peter Ray at the car boot today. So hmm. she's been she's been star hunting. 
Don't be scared, Paul and Marie. Apart from Tam and Bell, so no, 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 no. most of the people here have been able to control their anger issues and obsessive personality compulsions with medication. <laughs> <laughs> Always rely on show. So, how how long ago did your did you start reselling? Oh, is it? Well, we, I mean, our eBay account goes back to two thousand three. Yeah, um, yeah, mine, yeah, mine is yeah. as well. Yeah, I sort of dabbled when I was a teenager. When I was about sort of sixteen, seventeen, my parents used to do boot sales, um, yeah. and I used to go yeah. with them and buy toys. Mm. And then I'd come home and then spend Sunday afternoon cleaning the toys. And then I rented a space in in my dad's shop window, and would oh, sell nice. them. So I'd for like a pound, sell them for five pound. Um, so oh, I was wow. sort of doing that as a teenager. Um, I think when you when you grow up with parents that um, do that sort of thing, it rubs off on you, and you mm. it's what you want yeah. to, to do, isn't it? You, same as your dad um, has had businesses, isn't it? Oh yeah. When yeah. you've grown That's up it. with it, you end up um, wanting the same sort of lifestyle, really. Yeah. Well, it obviously works. It obviously works, you know, because you're doing well with it. You, you're picking up some good stuff. Your videos are good. You know, it's like I was saying before. You know. I would never have thought about going into charity shops. When I was a kid, I, my mum used to go into charity shops and I didn't even go in them. Yeah, I mean, I was like... Totally it's, it's, yeah, they would have a funny smell, didn't they? Did, yeah, they did, <laughs> absolutely. But would you rather have one of those old-style charity shops now rather than the boutique ones that are really yeah. high price? Yeah. We'd I'd love to go to an right old-style, old you know, old where it's all in a heap yeah, yeah. and you have to rummage. Oh, yeah, We'd love definitely. that, wouldn't we? No, but they were, you know, you're, you're going there now and it's 15 pounds for a pair of shoes, yeah. So it's crazy, it's crazy. it is yeah. like going in, um, it's got like going in Harrods, yeah, it is yeah. <laughs> absolutely nuts, you know. It's it's all the special lights, so it is just like going into a boutique. It's, I mean, they're done out lovely, aren't they? Well, they, they are done out lovely, lovely. Yeah, but that's you know, but they're not selling anything, <laughs> no, that's it. they've got to yeah. put their prices up to pay for it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, Bell was on a night out for her sister's birthday, so I'm looking after the boys. Tams in on his own. It's dangerous. Yeah, we just want to uh, say thank mom. you, to Tam, don't we? Yes, we do want to say thank message. you. Just that lovely message, yeah. wishing us well, because they knew we'd be very nervous. Yeah, so. we're not we're not so good. This is only our second our second live. Yeah, yeah. And you know we're a bit it's... scared. <laughs> ah, nothing to be scared of. Everybody loves you. <laughs> um, Joan's saying Sean now very dare you She's putting him in his place We've got Paul Key in Good evening Paul Key I hope you're well uh, And you're saying Question for Paul and Marie Where are you going to be tomorrow? Well we're thinking We yeah, might might, be... might do um, Gosport mm. It's quite a good one isn't it yeah. We've been out today And we we sort of walked a few bits but, um, When we perhaps shouldn't have done Because it was really an anniversary day But the car automatically goes to a charity shop. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple of bigger ones down your way as well. So we sort of filled our boots, didn't we? We did. <laughs> Had a lovely, yeah. lovely morning. Um, but we have put our trolleys in, in the van, haven't we? Yeah. Thinking we probably will go to Norway. Yeah. So we're sort of on, we're not 100%, cusp, are we? But yeah. I think we, yeah. yeah, we don't know. If we do go, we'll probably go to Gosport. More likely be Gosport. Got a big yeah. one in yeah. Gosport. Mm. Well, because uh, spoke to Anya, sent us a message earlier. She said that because obviously we've had one of our car boots um, at um, uh, Roundstone Garden Centre. They used to have one there, and that's closed down. They've sold the land off, um, and they've just I've just heard today that they're closing Ford, which is our oh, other no, one, no, our no, other no. local one. So Ford's going. They're building houses on it, apparently. Oh, oh. Cool. When, so no they yeah. Well, that's the local one for me. It's literally five minutes up the yeah. road. So yeah, you know, no, that's that's on a Thursday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that's that's going. Mm -hmm. So literally, the the only one around here that's going to be around here now will be. Well, we've got Shore and Fly over one way, and then the other way. Um, I haven't been there yet. Someone mentioned it. I've, can't remember it was it mentioned it on the chat um in a previous live or video and said about hunston which is over by chichester so mm -hmm. that's really the only other one that i that i know is is, is got going to sort of be around this way so mm -hmm. out of your reselling um what's your sort of favorite things to pick up 
<laughs> well, I, know, I, I think I know what you're going to say. <laughs> I do quite like old things, and um, I quite like wicker. I think it's as you get older, you appreciate um, older things, and all the work that goes into wicker and that style of thing, I think I quite like. I don't mind wicker as long as it goes into a nice square box. Yeah, you, sometimes <laughs> I do get things that are yeah. difficult for you to pack. Yeah. Um, but I quite like picking up things that are easy as well like i do like a mug don't i yes um, <laughs> <laughs> do like a mug. <laughs> something that's yeah. easy a quick baby wipe and then it's ready to go yeah um you know we're, we're for, forever trying to tackle the amount that we've bought so you mm. want to sort of process it as quickly as possible so don't really want to be cleaning too much no no um, that's it yeah. but then you know we buy we buy all sorts of if we think there's money we, in something we'll give it a go and that's oh, how I've, we sort of learn don't we yeah i've still got electrical equipment um you know like um amps tape decks things like that mm. which i purchased and it's just been it's just been sat there yeah just yeah. waiting for me to test and you know it's so, crazy it's really. like i know the YouTube. feeling all this yeah. is set on <laughs> electronics that i've had there for about two or three years yeah yeah but we you yeah. know we start picking yeah. up shoes and clothes and it's it's yeah. really um Anything we think we can make some money on, we'll give it a go, and that's how we learn yeah. whether it's that's we it. should do it again or not. Mm. That's how we sort of tackle it, yeah. really. You, yeah. You'd have been proud of me today because we, when we went to Hampton Court Palace, we took a wicker uh, picnic basket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sat down with our little picnic basket. Everyone looking at us like we were mental, walking around with it. <laughs> yeah. but it's, it was really nice, though. It was, that was a lovely day. Um, uh, evening, Grass. Uh, new name for it, Grass. Uh, Paul Keys. Everyone's saying hello still. That's the thing. Trying, it's trying to get through the chat. Evening, Tori. Lovely toilet. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, good evening, my dear. Uh, we've got Chris in Cinema Music Fifty Five. Good evening, Chris. Hope you're well. Um. Everyone's saying hello to everybody, which is really nice. We've got Ross in. Ross, good evening. 80s horror fan is Ross. That's the thing. It's, it's going through, and like eventually you just remember the names. I was terrible before. Got Queenie oh, in. Good evening, Queenie. <laughs> <laughs> I love I, I love what well, I love about your I love it when you do your bloopers on your videos. It's amazing. We just can't get it right. <laughs> 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 it does oh, take a while on it sometimes yeah i it's thought i think from, i love it i think from the first video we sort of said look we're not going to be very good um we were, yeah. you know there's other people that are really really talented doing videos and then us you know we and come us, along we rock we're quite boring so let's just no, be quite no. honest and show <laughs> all of us you know show our good and bad because then you know, it's just us, isn't it? It's There's just... a lot of bad, though, isn't there, really? <laughs> Every week, Paul says to me, oh, it's another 11 minutes of outtakes. Yeah. The outtakes sometimes... Well, that's, are... You should just do a video of that. I, think, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love watching the outtakes. Brilliant. So we've got we Tam and Bill. Yeah. <laughs> well, Tam and Bill put your link in. Tori's put your link in oh, as well. Thanks, Tam. So make Thank sure you. you go and check these guys out. Give them a sub and show them some love. Um, so what? So, you've been charity shopping in Worthing today, then? We have, yeah, yes. We had the old so. pep talk, you know, we're, we're having a day out. We don't need to. This is me, I'm saying to Paul, we don't need to buy much. We don't need to buy much. Um, come back with the van for, haven't we? I think I bought one thing. Paul I? bought one thing, I bought loads of things. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> there's wicker, there's all sorts, isn't there? Yeah, got some clothes, some shoes, yeah. Um, got a laundry basket. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's nice. just—it's like some sort of disease I've got. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it, it's it, that's the thing. Really, isn't it? That's the thing. It's, We've got all yeah, our yeah, clothes in yeah. our living room. Yeah, it's gonna take three days to sort out, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> possibly wow. a bit tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Wow, oh, it's a nightmare, wow. isn't it? Make sure the car's empty. You need the room. Yeah, yeah. yeah we put the trolleys in already, haven't we? Yeah, all in I'm ready. ready to go. <laughs> yeah, we thought yeah. well we. We better do. We better do. Yeah, I think it's because we didn't sure. go last Sunday. That's what it is. We sort of feel you've missed out. It's the thing is, we've got so much a backlog. Um, you 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 feel that you you shouldn't be doing it because you're just making the, the problem worse, really. But, yeah, but then you think, oh, the autumn's yeah. coming along. It could be quite rainy. You don't, mm. you know, you feel like should we? Well, it's sunny. Should we do it? 
stock up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Queenie's saying she can hear an echo. I, I thought I could hear an echo as well, but I'm not oh, sure if it's up? me. Hello? I can't hear it now. Oh, Maybe I've just... I don't know. Can you still hear it, guys? Yep, I can still hear a little bit. It's, I don't know whether it's me. Let me just have a fit. Silence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just us now, hon. <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> no. We can't hear anything. Hey, you can now. Hey, you should be able to now. I don't know if it, I don't know. I don't know what. I, well, I don't usually get an echo, but unless it's um, us, I don't know. I've got. Have you got your echo cancellation on? Okay. I didn't know there was echo cancellation. Neither did but I. If you, go into it's set, if you, go into, you click settings at the bottom. Yeah. Go into audio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There should be a box that says echo cancellation. Echo cancellation. Yeah, that's ticked. It's ticked. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. ticked. Maybe it's me. Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's probably me. Let's turn my I mean, it was, we're not using the camera on the laptop. There's a camera. We'll, we'll put a, a separate camera just above it. Would that make any difference? It's probably not you because I can't hear you no. echoing. I think it's me. I've just turned my, my volume down a bit, so hopefully that will stop it. Um... So there's my mum, there's Jade. Let me see if I swap it to another. I'll swap it to another audio. Uh, try that one. Can you hear me still? We can hear you. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. See if that echo stops. Probably me, I reckon. Because that's a different microphone. Mm. Strange, strange. All right, all right. No, it must be me, but I don't know why. Well, turn it back. There you go. Technical problems, guys. It happens. Uh, right, let's have a look. Uh, Something daughter saying hello, Nan. Uh, having a chat. Hunston. Hunston. Can you can you hear me echoing? No, I no. can't. Just, um... right. Wicker. Uh, Sean saying, question, as Paul and Marie appear to be on the pints of pink gin, what plans do <laughs> you to support yourself in about 35 minutes when it fully kicks in, or are you strapped into those chairs? Yes, <laughs> you can always rely on Sean. We yeah. do laugh every week at Sean's oh, yeah. comments. Absolutely. It's hilarious, isn't he? He is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jane's saying she's got loads of amps and separates. Hi fi, been sitting for 10 years. It's all money, get it sold. Tamar Bell saying echo, echo, echo. Uh, we've got Drew Strickland in from America. Hey, Rich and everyone, just spotted by to, uh, to say hello. Quick, uh, hope you have a great show. Thank you, mate. He stopped by. Um, hang on, let me. Oh, well, I'm not leaving you, I'm not running away. <laughs> right. Just us, now, Just us. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I should leave you to run the show. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can hear it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we still hear it, guys? I don't think I can hear it now. I don't know. Maybe a little bit. We're fine. We're fine. Um, and you're saying you're far from boring. <laughs> All saying no sound. Probably better than probably better than hearing me anyway. Uh, Ross is saying, so do you guys do early entry to boot sales? Do you find it's hard competing with other sellers massively these days? Um, we, I don't think we would ever pay to go to go in early because we're quite tight, aren't we? Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'd never do that sort of thing but i think no. we try and get there early don't we? we we do yeah yeah i mean i don't think um the ones around here do that do they early no entry? i don't think any of them charge um, no not not early entry no 
Um, but um, but yeah, no, we do try and get there as early as we can. Yeah. Yeah. Just to try and, you know, there is a lot of competition, um, but we sort of find there's always stuff. I mean, the one, ones we go to are quite big, so there's always mm. something to get, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, did you used to go to the early, early morning ones with it in the dark? We have right. been... It happened in the past, haven't we? It, with, with the, the old, old torch. torch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but no, we, we're getting a little bit lazy at the moment. <laughs> yeah, and I think, to be honest, we, we tend to get so much when we do go that we, we can... You know, we're quite lucky that sometimes we can be quite choosy in the winter and not go. I'm not very good with the cold. So no. if it's cold and a bit damp, then sometimes we can say, well, let's just not bother because we've got lots of stuff. Let's yeah, just crack yes, on with that stuff. That's... We've been doing backlog videos every week now for a little while. Yeah, trying they're, to they're clear just it. trying to clear it. But it's still, we've still got tons and tons of stuff. So mm. they're, they're just, there's not that sort of urgency, is there? No, I mean, we in a couple of weeks ago, we worked on some um, wooden stretcher bars that we'd mm. had for 10 years. So, mm. so we finally got them on, but it's taken ten years, isn't it? So it has. we've got all sorts of stuff just sat around. Mm. Um, yeah. We need to. Clear. Is there anything you buy and you sort of it doesn't end up going on for sale? You end up keeping it. Um, not very often. No, but... not very often. But um, the other day I did I did keep some shoes because this. I know it's not nice to talk about, but sometimes that you you want to have a backup nice pair of shoes to go to a funeral with. And mine yeah. had gone a bit funny, yeah. and um, we we bought some lovely shoes for a couple of pounds. I thought, oh, they'd be lovely to keep as my funeral shoes, which is a bit odd, I know, but <laughs> you never know when you know. As me said, I don't dress up <laughs> to go anywhere because it well, we work from home, so yeah. so it's yeah. good for that sort of thing. You can get you know clothing and shoes really cheap. So we don't really yeah. buy a lot of new stuff, do we? No, no. But so. yeah, I, with regard to keeping stuff, we don't normally because we... You, you do keep the odd thing, don't you? Yeah, I might do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming out, all the secrets are coming out yeah. now. Yeah. But no, mainly, mainly pretty good. If we least. do keep it, it's only cost a few quid. It's yeah. not, you know, we don't really buy new stuff, do we, now? No, no, that's it. Yeah. It's all cheap. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I always buy second hand now. I just uh, Even my trainers I got on today, I bought from a charity shop. Um, I just I just prefer it. I don't I don't yeah. need to buy new clothes. The only start time I get new stuff is if the wife or family buy it for me for Christmas or birthday. Yeah, same with us really. Mm. Um, I think it's yeah. I think because it takes it takes a long time to earn a lot of money. Yeah, you know you mm. are more careful about how you spend it. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Um, does em does Emily get involved in your in the reselling or? I know she is it knitting or crocheting. She does. Yeah, she does. When when she left school, we sort of wanted her to have the sort of the skill of mm. buying something and selling it, um, so that in life, if she ever needed money, she could mm. she could do it. So mm. we we it. you know took her to boot sales, and she did start buying things and selling them, them on Depop. She did that for a while, didn't yeah. she? And then in lockdown, she started learning how to crochet, and within a month, she'd set up Etsy and was doing all that. Yeah. Um, so she has got, I think she's she's, she's got, got it in some, her. Yeah, she's she? got it in her, and it's rubbed mm. off, I think, from us. Mm. Um, but I think I don't think it's something she would be looking to do as no. as a living. I think she can see that we work all the time, and I don't think that's I mean, what she, she, she wants to want do. <laughs> she wants to have a life. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, we do. <laughs> We are working quite a lot. She and, comes uh, down and tells us off and says, yeah. come on, it's 10 o'clock at night, you shouldn't be working. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, she sort of does try yeah. and, you know, she sees how hard we work and I think she wants something different to different. that. <laughs> I don't blame her, really. No. <laughs> um, Queen is saying, anybody had eBay glitches this week, just found uh, eBay had ended all my coats, jackets and shoes on the 24th at 9.23 p.m. Oh my god, that's um, no, we did have no. um, we were talking to, to Mark from GT Pre Loved. Um, when I listed a jacket, I listed it for $24.99, but then it came up as $29.99. Um, oh but so on one page it was saying $24.99, but then on another page it was saying $29.99, and he that's said there was some sort of VAT glitch, hmm. some sort of 20% VAT glitch, but within a few minutes it, it changed, yeah, it rectified it? itself, but we haven't had anything. Like, like that, that but we, we've been out, so we haven't noticed. No, it could better, have happened. Better we haven't noticed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we haven't yeah. noticed. 
Yeah. I'm just well, I'm just gonna pop that once. Oh God, it's us again, hon. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, what do you say? What do you say when it's just us? We're not. We're. It's not us, is it? Doing this sort of thing. <laughs> Hope you're well. <laughs> I've I, I just popped right out. Thank goodness. And come back. I don't know whether it's still echoing. Um, so we've got we've got Donna coming. Uh, we've got Steve Jackson. I've I've probably gone right back on the t- on the chat now. Oh no, there it is. Um, so you're doing a challenge. Is it two old toys into two thousand pounds? It's ten of Emily's old toys from when she oh, was young, yeah. um, and it's trying to turn them into two thousand pounds for her twenty-first birthday next year. Mm. Oh, how's it I going? Said, well, that, that wrong, I know. I don't wait. Should have recorded that. I know. I should have done. <laughs> Every week she gets that wrong. I can never say it all. It's too many words. Um, I've, I've seen yeah, you. I've seen right. you do about five or six takes on a video of that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Every week I go, "What's it called? Why do we call it that? We should have just called it the challenge. It'd yeah. be easy." But yeah. yes, it's going all right. We're we're really enjoying charity shopping. We'd yes, sort of, it's challenging us, isn't it, to learn about yeah, to learn um, about clothes, clothes and shoes. And shoes. Mm. We'd sort of fallen out of love with charity shops and hadn't been for a very long time. Yeah, um, and we've sort of realised that the only way to get branded stuff is to get get it from charity shops. So we now go once a week. We have a good spend up, don't we? Mm. We don't see. We haven't had much luck at boot sales, have we? No, moment, it's all but... Primark and George and things <laughs> yeah. like that. We can't. We're not we finding. To... Not in our boot sales, anyway. Yeah, um, yeah we've we'll more luck through charity shops. Yeah, I think um, you know some of the branded stuff is at charity shops. You just got to sift through mm. and hope they haven't noticed it, <laughs> and then you can afford to buy it. So yeah, we're we're really enjoying the challenge. It's 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 week twelve already. Yeah, I can't believe how quickly it's going. I know, that's, that's crazy. Um, it's building. It? Mm. So we I think we've got about two thousand pounds worth of listed stock now. Mm. Wow. Just from um from some of those toys and then a lady sent us um a box of stuff. So the yeah. two together is we've now just gone over two thousand pounds worth of listed yeah. stock. So we've just got to sell it all now. Yeah. It's crazy yeah. though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. Joan saying how many days do you each uh work uh how many hours do you do? Do you purposely have time away from eBay? I've been busy doing the yeah. driving. So I haven't done a lot of eBay at all, really. <laughs> no, our weeks we, are the same every week, really. We 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 sort of we spend all week working. Mm. Monday nights we take the night off and watch Cooking the Haydens, which we love, don't we? Mm. And then on Saturday yeah. night we watch yeah. your show. So that's mm. the rest of the time we are pretty much. Yeah, Working. I mean, we, we don't have a lot of time away from it, do we? No. Um, it's always, always there in the background. Um, if we have a day out, it will be going around charity shops. But I think because we we love it so much, we try and mm. sort of engineer it so it doesn't feel like work. So I'll get a lot of things ready and I can sit and watch TV and do some listing. So it's not – it's working, but it's not – you know, if I've got an old film on or something, you don't feel that it's – sort of working yeah. like today yeah today we've been we've, out we've, we've been out we've been you know we, we sort of went to work further than we would normally go yeah and yes we did go to some charity shops but um not many and we had a nice you know on yeah. the beach and 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 on the pier and that and yeah. it, you know it we just, actually called it a day off today we, didn't we, we? Did. we were we gonna have a day, day off. off so we, we worked like till about 11 last night getting ready for it yeah but then when we talk about it, what do you want to do? It's like, oh, should we have a look, see if they've got any charity shops? <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> so it's, you know, we love doing it. So it doesn't always feel like work, mm, but we yeah. are pretty much doing it all the time, aren't we? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Talking yeah. of Chris, there you go. There he is. There he is. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Chris, is, Chris is the one to blame for YouTube because we yeah. we started watching them Oh, about three or four years ago, yeah. and when when they started losing weight, we could see their faces getting thinner every week, and we thought, hold on a minute, look at their faces. We want a bit of that, so we started doing the diet they were on, um, mm. and then lost five stone, mm. and oh, that sort of gave us the confidence to start doing the YouTube because we we watched so many YouTubers, and yeah. we just wanted to be a bit more involved with it, didn't we? Yeah. And in January, when we started getting a bit confident, um. We sort of talked about it and said, well, okay. should we say hello in the chat? Because we've been watching these, you know, especially Chris's for three, four years. And we've never even said hello. Mm. 
So yeah. we sort of wave and said hello, and then three people said hello back, and we're like, oh my goodness, three people <laughs> said hello, and then the following week we said hello again, and yeah. and then more people, and then over time we were like, oh, and that's what sort of got us involved with doing the YouTube because we want we just love the feeling of being involved with the whole community mm. side of it. Yeah, it's nice. I was just like, show you, Rich, because this she can't be here tonight because she's out with um, was it her sister or the lovely the lovely Belle, she's out, but she, this is a, the, the best thing about doing the YouTube is that you get kind people like Belle. I saw the bag, this, yes. She made me this bag. That's I lovely. mean, she's got one of those crickets that wouldn't have taken, you know, it would have taken quite a long time to make that, but mm. she sent it to us. It's just, you know, the kindness of people, that's what we've been really, Yeah. it's blown yeah. us away how lovely people are and um, the kind comments and meeting yeah. you. <laughs> Well, it's you just, know, you know some of us do. It's like the, that was like a cherry on the top of the cake. It was, wasn't it? That's it. <laughs> we it's were so like nervous coming to meet you. Oh, there's nothing to be nervous oh, about. We were so you nervous. Know. We were, yeah, that's it. Yeah. First thing he said was, you smell nice. You smell you nice. Smell oh, nice. Oh, I know. Oh, you know you think, oh, what an idiot. <laughs> this is why we shouldn't be let out. <laughs> no, no. It was, it, was a lovely, it was a lovely way to meet, and it, and it was just nice. It was a nice small group on the beach, and we had a lovely time. I, I, I really enjoyed it, actually. Yeah, we did. We're looking oh, yeah. forward to the next one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've, I've just got to sort that out now. Um, we've got Max in saying, hi, oh, uh, sorry I'm late to the party. Just been down the old smoke, so he's been back to London again. Uh, we've got Ian, the master of pieces in. Good evening, Ian. Hope you're well. Um, everyone's saying hello, which is nice. Uh, Jilly B is saying, I'm in the north wing of my home, aka the bedroom, and Wi Fi is playing up if I miss your hellos. Uh, so, yeah, people saying hi to Max. No glitches, just someone messaging me telling me the item I'm selling isn't rare because they have one. <laughs> That's ridiculous when people do stupid stuff. You get some dark people, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, why why message if you're not intending on or not interested in it? It's crazy. Mm. I suppose we two pounds, didn't we, for something? But we couldn't even post for that, could we? No. <laughs> so, what's the point? Well, for that? two pound for something. <laughs> if you ever had something on for quite a, a decent price, and someone's just offered you the silliest offer. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we've had that before. I mean, I mean, this item was what about fourteen, fifteen pounds. So it wasn't. Yeah, overly expensive, but two pound. I mean, yeah, that's, that's just ridiculous. You had one once, and you and you just went, you went back and offered, you took a pound off. Oh, I took you? a pound off. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're being stupid. I'm going to be stupid. <laughs> yes, no, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, so Max is saying hi to everybody. Uh, Jilly's saying she can't hear an echo, so maybe it's gone. Um, Donna's in. I said, got my daughter to learn how to grade vinyl records and sleeves. Took her six months. She's only 14 and a great help for me. That's amazing. If you And that's what I that's what I miss with not being in a reselling couple. My wife is not interested in it. She just <laughs> calls it old crap. And <laughs> she's, not, she's really not bothered. But, like, it must be lovely working together because it can be a lonely job, really, can't it? Like, when you when you're oh, yeah. on your own doing it, it's just like listing, and I sit down here on my own. She's out doing her job, and it's just it's it would just be so nice to do what you're doing, and you've got each other to help you. And oh, hmm. well, I think that's the thing we found, jealous. wasn't it? Is that before YouTube, we we would be in different areas of the house, hmm. so we would just meet up for coffee, we would just meet up for for lunch. Yeah. So you don't really have a bit of a laugh because you're just having a meal or you know a coffee. And then when we started doing the videos, we realised how much we actually were laughing when doing yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so. that's, you know, just really made us see that, you know, it's fun, isn't it, to do mm. these sort of things. It's like the fun side of our job now. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it is nice. And like I say, with the community and with the YouTube, it's such a sociable thing. And it, it is good company. It really is good company. Mm. It's quite nice when Chris does his... Um, uh, lunchtime live, so you can yeah. stop. Yeah, we always try and be there for lunchtime. Uh, yes, it takes a lot out of you. Just try and take it easy. 
tell them to switch off, sit in bed, do eBay, then watch eBay as on YouTube, then back on eBay. <laughs> yes, what we do, don't we? Yeah. We finish work and then yeah. we sit in bed watching, watching YouTube, YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Max is saying, I managed to bag not only a Mickey, but Goofy too from Disney's World, uh, Disney's World of Wonder, talking plushies, which we had at my nan's when I was about five. Bagged them for five pound. Mickey alone sells up sixty plus. Nice. Well, I went and bought my first trunky this week. I've never bothered with them before, and uh, I think that one ended up costing me two pound fifty in the end on the deal she done me. So. But uh, James sells them all the time. Does he? Yeah. Mm. I think we've sold a couple in the past. We, we? Yeah, quite a long time ago. We've, yeah, but we've yeah, we have go. sold a couple in the past. Yeah. And I bought, mm. I spotted this one. So I don't know if you've not oh, seen my video. video. Yeah, isn't it different? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like, say, you know, you've got seat belts for the handles. Yeah, so clever. Um, so it's made out of inner tubes so you've got like bits of bits of rubber there like i see inner tubes and stuff and then it's all it's all the seat covers and stuff from the virgin atlantic airplanes brilliant One pound yeah. so i'll have yeah, to list that that's the thing i keep bringing it home and I, I, I end up listing the odd bit and then i'm back driving again so like, i don't end up listing it all but still got to pack, pack that bad boy my last bowling pin so that's got to get packed tomorrow and get sent off. But um, so how are your sales at the minute? Oh. I mean, <laughs> this year this has year's not, been just rubbish mm, for us. Yeah, not been great at all. No, I've got a few sticky months. Mm. Um, we've cut mm. back on lots of things, haven't we, to mm. try and combat that. Yeah. And we're, we're trying all sorts. This is what we do when, we, when something's not working. You think, well, I'll try something else. Um, we, we've sort of activated our smaller store that we had and are doing clothes and shoes on there to sort mm. of see if niching is a good idea. Because I think yeah, we, so we had so them, many yeah. different things, didn't we? Because we mm. sell almost anything. Mm. And we wondered if the traffic is being spread between everything and it's it's harming the, the sort of sales. The so, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. So That's we've been trialling that, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, not going too bad at the moment. No, it's not going too bad. Um, We're having um, more sale days than no sale days now on the clothing one. So it is it is building. Mm. Um, and we've just activated another sale, haven't we, to try and generate. Yeah. But, it, yeah, this year is just, um, you know, it's with glitches and just, I don't know if it's the climate, you know, no, whether it's. It's an unusual year. Yeah. Was um, you, did, we're hoping you, it's going to pick up Christmas. You were selling through the first lockdown. Did you do well through the first lockdown? Because I think everyone that was reselling through the first we did, lockdown yeah. mm. did really well. Yeah, it did very well. It's um, We have bags of stuff going out, didn't we? Yeah, and it's... I think the, the thing we found that because we couldn't go out, we really sort of set to our backlog and we mm. were really working hard, weren't we? Mm. So we were listing more than we normally would have been anyway. So that was helping as well. So, yeah, yeah. we did have a good year. Mm. Um, yeah, it was a problem. So, have you got many car boots around your way, or or is it sort of sparse? It's not too bad. Um, no, we've got, got the um, the Gosport one that's on all the time, isn't it? No yeah. matter what, they've got an indoor bit. It's a school, so they they just have it indoors. We've got hard standing as well, so it's um, yeah, yeah it's indoor all the time. toilets. You know, it's quite a quite a posh yeah. boot sale. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And we've got Allington Lane, which I think is where Anya goes to. And Helen Craddock, we met Helen and, and Colin Craddock, lovely people, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Um, they go to Allington Lane, so that's a nice one as well. Mm. Um, There's tip, well, there is Titchfield, Titchfield on a we... Saturday, but we don't. We we tried to sell there before, and it we didn't think it was that good. Mm. Um, uh, even when we've gone to buy, it's not very big. You know, if you're going, if you're taking the time to go, you want to have quite a few rows. And sometimes we've been there, and there's been two rows. Mm. Not you know, not really worth. Paying to go in, sort of thing. Um, so, so you've got, so a few you've got, so you've got an all year, all year round one. Yeah, yeah, the one that's at the school is all year round. Um, the only time it wasn't on, I think, was when it was the COVID thing, wasn't it? Because and it was a school, they were closed for longer quite some than time. normal. Um, yeah. The other, that everyone else was open, mm. and then they were still holding back. Um, I think they were waiting for permission from the school to start it up again, weren't they? Yeah. Um, but um, but yeah. But it's on now, isn't it? Mm. Rain or shine. Yeah, yeah. So 
Yeah, I keep saying about Hunston, but every Saturday something comes up, so I haven't actually even been to Hunston yet. Um, I didn't do a car boot last week with my daughter. I'm not doing one tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'm taking my son to the military odyssey, some massive military show in um, Kent in oh. Detlin. So I'll take him down there tomorrow, so no, no laying again. <laughs> but, um, and, and no car boot, no sourcing, which is a good thing. Cause I just still want to get rid of stuff. But yeah. um, Bell's out. She's saying, oh, she's saying, hi, Rich, Paul and Marie, uh, handsome hubby and chat. Hey, handsome hubby. Oh, Tam. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, just popping in quick to say hi out on a girls' night out. My sister's birthday. Nice. You should be you should be having a lovely time. Hope everyone's having a great Saturday night. We are, thank you, Belle. Thanks for popping in. That's the thing, it's so lovely. The people are so lovely as well. People are so kind. Yeah. I've got some t-shirts coming from America from the Chiching King as well. Did you watch him? Mm. Did you watch him? So no, he's got not, some nice with him, have we? Yeah, he's a good he's he's a nice guy as well. Um Look, some flirting going on on there. Look, look at the flirting in the chat. <laughs> Jeez. And um, Bell's Craft Corner is calling from the pub, but be quiet, everyone. She may not notice we are here. Who knows what's going on when the snake bite kicks in? <laughs> Love Sean. Uh, right, we'll watch the rest, let the rest later. Have a good night all. Oh, thank you, Donna. Thanks for watching. Thanks for popping in. Uh, Gary's saying that bag is sweet. It's a it's a lovely thing, and I say it, I don't know why it caught my eye. There's a carousel in the in the charity shop, and it's just got loads of bags on it. And I bought a couple before, and it, they're one pound fifty on this on this carousel. And I thought for one pound fifty, it's got to be worth more than that. So um, that'll be getting listed this week. I think I'm going to go for fifty on it though, because I think it'll I think. It'll go for that. People like these yeah, upside yeah, things, don't they? So, yeah, it's unusual yeah. as well. Unusual goes well, doesn't it? It does, yeah, definitely. So yeah, mm. so it's quite a cold. So that will be going on. I might try and get it on tomorrow when I come back from Kent. And I don't think I'm driving Monday or t well, Monday's a bank holiday, but I could be driving. I don't think I am, so I'm just going to be cracking on with my eBay this week and try and get it back to where it was. So. Uh, free, feel free to subscribe to Savvy Mum UK too. Um, if anyone uh, is a moderator and they can put Donna's um, channel link in, please. Thank you. Um, everyone's telling Belle to enjoy her night out. Uh, drawn over the Prime Minister with Mark Penn doing Sean A merch plates this time next year, Rodders. Every time I go to um, Apps Call, I always see Sean, I see Paul Chop Chop. I sent Ian J there. Um, uh, who else was it? Oh, Ron, another subscriber, Ron. And I was there one week, and this young kid come up, and he said, "You're you're Night's Life." I said, "Yeah." He said, "Oh, I subscribed to you. He must have been sixteen years old." And I'm thinking, "God, why are you subscribing to me?" <laughs> <laughs> right, to a sixteen-year-old, I just I must he must put me on when he wants to go to sleep. <laughs> uh, keep that stuff to yourself or your career as a pole dancer is getting exposed oh, chop, chop. <laughs> um, so what in your buying and selling what has sort of made you the biggest profit what have you bought one thing that you thought we bought it and it's, and it's sold for good money Hmm. We did buy, we did sell that um, Alex Ferguson glass thing the other, the other right, day, didn't away, we? It? Yeah, I think, mm. how long do you think we've had it? A year, about a year? Mm. Maybe about a year? We bought, it was a paperweight, a, a Sir Alex Ferguson sort of engraved, would you say? It was sort of. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was like a, like a glass block glass type block thing. Glass block with engraved. his face all engraved yeah, into it. And it was, it was £2.50. Mm. And I thought, I'll get that because it's unusual. And it was a yeah. few years ago it was done. And we thought we'll give that a go. Yeah. And I think when we looked at it, I think I was thinking about putting up for what, £60 or something. And mm. Paul said, no, let's try higher than let's that and higher. give it a go. Let's go mm. higher. 
and what did it say? Was it £102, I think? It yeah, went something like that. Yeah. Um, nice. It took mm. a year to sell, but we don't mind that. It was, no, um, no, if you're going to get that sort of property, yeah, you don't mind waiting. Well, well, you know when something big like that goes out and you're thinking, right, well, wait a little while because it mm. could be a scammer. Let's wait until we've got feedback before we enjoy ourselves because you just don't know, do you, whether people are just trying to rip you off or... Yeah. Um, nope. They yeah, seem to be happy with they it. They seem so. to be happy. I mean, we, we, we've also bought um, lots of bits from auction. I mean, the projectors that we got. Yeah, we bought some projectors. Um, they were more professional sort of projectors, wasn't it? Two of them and a, mm. and a power block. And um, it was, oh, it, I can't remember what it was now. We, we paid. It was, whole, very... it was a whole shelf full of stuff, and we didn't really know what any of it was. Mm. It was some knitting machines. There were yeah. some lamps. Um, some sewing machines, it was all sorts of just random tat. Yeah. And we put a low low bid in and thought, Not oh, we, we won't get, get that. And then when we got it, we're like, oh, God, what is it? What the hell what do we do with all this? <laughs> <laughs> we, we loaded it and took it. Yeah. And the projectors sold for 200 Two... and something, didn't they? Oh, nice. 230. Something like that, yeah. We sold all the um, knitting machines. We, you know, we did really well with that, didn't Very we? Very well. I mean, the knitting machines weren't quite high as well. Yeah. But, um, but the projectors were the most. Yeah, and we sold the sewing machines. Yeah, yeah. so we were quite surprised. It's it's how we learn about things. We, mm. we take a chance. Yeah. Um, we are quite lucky sometimes, aren't we? We, we? we might buy a lot thinking there's one thing in there that we want, mm. and then it turns out something else that's worth more in the lot. Um, yeah. So we are quite lucky, I think, a lot of the time. There's yeah. no skill. I mean, the lot of auctions. When you do that in the auctions, you buy the big box, so you see something, you think, oh, I know that's worth money. So you buy the big box, and usually it's like the crappiest little thing in the corner of the box that you couldn't see on, on the when you bought yeah. it. That's usually the thing that's worth the most money. It's so nice mm. to find things like that. Um, Tam's saying, sold a Herms, Herms, is it Herms or Herm? I say Hermes. Uh, bought a Hermes tie. Bought for one pound, featured in a recent video for sixty pound yesterday. Sold it. We only can find those items all the time. It would be lovely. I wish I could find another three hundred and ten of them bowling pins. I'd be. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's one of them things. It's like a once in a lifetime thing. You never, you you know, like sunglasses have done me well now. The bowling pins were amazing. I had a load of these little screen covers, and they were for a phone i've never heard of it was a, it, a caterpillar that can make caterpillar but it's a caterpillar s50 phone or something and these screen covers the bloke went oh you can have that whole box you bought a load of stuff you can have that whole box for three quid and i was like what am i going to do with 50 screen covers for a caterpillar phone i've never even heard of anyway these things flew out made me a packet and it's one of them <laughs> like, i didn't yeah. know anything about them. i thought oh well i bought another uh, fit load of screen covers for like iPhones and stuff. So I thought, oh, you, well, I'll take three quid. I'll give it a go. Yeah, they were the best sellers. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh, my daughter's saying there's one bank holiday Monday at um, Apps Court. Uh, corner of the market in Fat Boy Pole Dancing. I'm strategically hypnotic. I have you know that's Paul John Job. <laughs> Oh, Michael X Gov as well. I usually see Michael X Gov as well at the uh, car boot. It's lovely. We all get together and have a good old chin wag. Well, proper meet uh, up down there, isn't it? Like, like a mother's <laughs> meeting. It is like a mother's meeting. Uh, Gosport's here all year round. Gosport's not far from me. It's obviously, I'm you know you know where I'm, Little Hampton, so it's just down near Portsmouth. Mm -hmm. So. Is, is it near Portsmouth or Southampton Gosport? It's near Portsmouth. No, it's, it's, it's just it's just, just past, past Portsmouth. So yeah, just yeah. the other side of Portsmouth. So it's not not far. Yeah. Mm. Nice. It's about probably fifteen minutes from here. Yeah, fifteen it's not, minutes. It's not, uh, yeah, because we're on the other well, the Portsmouth side of Southampton. We are. Uh, we're near Fairham. Yeah, we're near a Fairham. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Because Fairham's yeah. My wife used to work in Fairham. Um, evening, everyone. I'm late to bit late to the party limelight vinti good evening good to see you uh gary saying i sold a tom ford blazer uh got 600 pound for it paid up a bit of all right i sold 600 pound yeah. i've always found because i know daniel craig's bond suits are tom ford and uh, obviously i like the Australian stuff as a brother mm. i've always fancied a tom ford suit. But like, I haven't found one yet. No, <laughs> my chasters aren't that posh. Uh, just in the Hermes Post, uh, nice tan. 
Yes, guys. Uh, everyone say hello. Sean's, let's see what Sean's saying. For those confused, the video you're watching with the two people in it contains Paul and Marie. They have a channel for you to, to sub to. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Uh, Gary Sun picked I picked up some professional dentist equipment last week. So if anyone needs a root canal or teeth whitening, I might start a new career. <laughs> Sweeney Todd of dentists. <laughs> oh, we've got, uh, we've got some uh, other visitors in. If uh, oh, yeah. some of them might deal with that. Oi, oi. Uh, from what I read, the new homes won't hurt the car boot at Ford unless things have changed in the last month based on their website. Uh, okay, I, I, I didn't even know it was going till today. It was literally Anya said about it and then uh, messaged me and Amanda. And I thought, well, that's it then. That's both had a decent car boots from the area gone, really. So, Is they say when they're going? sorry, did they, sorry, did they say when they're going? When it's when it's ending? no, no, I haven't, I haven't actually looked yet, but I say it's a shame because I drive like it's literally next door to where I work. So, it's um yeah. it's five minutes from my house, but um it is what it is. If you have to go further, it's probably a change is as good as a rest, probably because like you go a bit further afield and try new ones. Hunston, I definitely want to try because a few people have recommended it, so I would like to give that one a go. Uh, uh, the mindset when buying units is to view it as literally buying money unit and net profit are the only two things that count in business mm, absolutely stone cold numbers with no emotion whatsoever what the actual units are is of no consequence nice i'd like to i'd like to buy a few things that are in multiples just just set up a few multiples you know if you get something good that goes um mm. have you any, have you done any ra at all do you do our uh, retail arbitrage We've done a few things like puzzles in the past, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, things we've done like things that. like that, yeah. Um, yeah, we, we do always look at that, don't we, to try and get a multiple. Yeah. Because um, it is, if you can set up a listing and it's obviously a popular listing, bonus. You know, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I think the thing we find with, with the, the RA stuff is that it's going to sound a bit greedy, but there's not as much there's not as much money in it. I think when you're buying second hand, you can you can get much more profit, and, mm. and you know that's what we've sort of found, didn't we? Mm. Is that there's more money in second hand stuff than there is in in new. Mm. That's it. I've only yeah, got one bit, one one RA, and that was the Jurassic Park socks and mug sets, and I paid two pound fifty from Wilco's, I think it was. And sold them for like, in the end, they went for about ten ninety five a set plus postage, which was was okay. Mm. Um, Paul saying best fat boy pole dancing site www dot chubby chaser. Was it chubby chase her chaser hernia dot com? Bop it seemed to shift quick. Do you know what? I took a bop it to Apps Court Farm couple of weeks back and no one even looked at it <laughs> you actually just listed a bop we just listed we? one yeah. yeah so we'll see we'll see if it goes quick <laughs> this was a weird one i've never seen it before it's like um you charge it up i think you charge it up through like some little mini lead so there's nowhere to put batteries in it you charge it up and it had like a earphone jack in it and stuff but it was just a weird one i've not really seen it before um, mm. But not one person picked it up and looked at it, I don't think, which was a bit strange. But um, yeah. so, how was your stock? Have you got plenty of stock? Have you still got your death mountain? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think really we sort of need to have a stock take, but we haven't really got the time to do that. Mm. So, um, we've probably got quite a lot of stuff that is not listed, but we think it is. Oh, it's um, in all right, sorry, listed stock, listed sorry, stock. Think, yeah. But we've also um, got quite a lot in our garage. Um, we've got some stuff in the boot sale, haven't we, that we don't really want to be doing boot sales now. So we're going to try and sell that in a different way. Yeah, it's, it's the time. Uh, you know, we, we, we could be a bit more productive, can't we? Yeah, I think we can time, list so. more. Um, um, and when we've done boot sales, we don't tend to sell as much, do we? It's because we've got so much backlog. Yeah. But you think, no. Let's, let's try and concentrate on that. We can earn more money concentrating on the backlog than we can 
Yeah, and, and doing, doing, doing the YouTube videos has really sort of zapped a lot of our time. We, mm. You know, we're yeah. making three videos a week. Um, so it takes a fair bit of organising and um, especially where we started putting this feature in our Sunday run where it's backlog. We mm. choose something from our backlog, which we thought would be a really good idea. But, oh, it's a nightmare <laughs> because you have to sort of, you know, pick something and then you have to actually work on it. Well, it's the, yeah, we're picking a few items. It's like a minimum be, of 10 items. You know, there's a reason why you've left it in your backlog is because yeah. it's a pain in the backside to deal with. So, um, yeah. you know, testing it and all that sort of thing. So it's just trying to, we're juggling that's, it all at the minute, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, that's it. So yeah, I mean that's what I've always said. Like when before, that's why I like doing car boots and what I don't sell at a car boots, I give to the charity shops because oh. I find it easier if I go to a charity shop and buy five things, ten things, bring it back and list it. I'm fine with that, but once I start going into the stuff that's been sat there for ages, I don't know where to start with it, so I don't. So I always yeah, find it. Yeah, the reason it's been left there. Yeah. So I just shut the door and leave it there again and then go to yeah. the charity. Yeah, me in front of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Chris is saying, uh, what's your preference? Buy stuff that you have no interest in, but it makes money, or buy things that uh, that interest you, but with lower profits? I think it's difficult because um, mm. I, I, have a, I love older things, so mm. I'm, more, I'm more drawn to older things, aren't I? Mm. Um, Which is funny because I'm a little bit younger. Than yeah, you are. You're younger <laughs> than me. But, you know, I think it's we want. Sometimes we want quick things, don't we? Yeah. And I do try and steer away from buying things like mugs because there's not as much profit in them. But sometimes mm. you just can't help yourself just, because yeah. you, they're so quick and easy. You think, oh, I can, you know, bash them out quite quickly. Mm. Um, but I do like to buy older things. But I don't always have the knowledge to, on these things, so you're sometimes buying them, taking a chance. Yeah. Um, whereas I mean, on some things where we know that there's money in them, they're easier to buy, aren't they? Because we think, oh, we can turn those around, they're okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. difficult if you've got no interest in something, but you make, you'd have to be very money-driven, I think, wouldn't you? To, yeah. Um, we're we're to very just... careful not to buy things we know nothing about, so you'll, mm. you'll never see us pick up computer games. Things that we got no, you know, no I, knowledge I, of. I've never we ever got into that. Never. We have picked them up, but they're still in the back. Yeah, we've got some in the backlog, but we don't know what to do with them. We don't know what they are, so they'll just sit there forever. Um, but yeah. yeah, it's you sort of, you know, you learn about things, don't you? And then you you're drawn towards the things you already know about. Mm. I, th I think the way I see it is, if 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 I think it's decent and I like it. That, that other people are going to like it now which might be a bit of a mad way of looking at it because not everybody likes the same stuff but i always think oh yeah that's amazing i quite like that and it's eye-catching you know it's it, it, someone else is going to obviously think the same thing but buy stuff that you have no interest in but makes money or buy things that interest you but with lower profits it's a difficult mm. one isn't it because like, we're in we're in the job of making money Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, we, we bought a big load of posters. We've got no interest in posters No, we haven't got, so we have done it. <laughs> but it was just literally, oh, we can get them for a pound each and we'll try and sell them for you know, £12 and more. And, yeah. and so we just bought 400 of them. Yeah. Um, so no interest in them at all. But you sort of think, well, look, there are a lot of people that do hmm. have a lot of posters. So yeah. we just bought them, yeah. didn't we? And, yeah, so, and some bill posters go for good money as well. They do. And it's only when you start... You know, photographing them, you think, "Oh God, why have we bought all these posters? We've got four hundred of these to do." Mm. <laughs> what a pain! But like I say, they're very clever. I mean, some auctions just purely do, do their auction just on post movie posters. Yeah, some yeah. of them are worth good, good money as well. So you, you know, you, you have got to look into it a bit. But I say, you know, some of the older Bond ones or the little quad posters and that from films go for hundreds. It's absolutely yeah. mental absolutely mental but you've got some decent ones you have got some decent ones in there um yeah we've still got quite a few videos a week. Yeah. that is impressive three videos a week because i i i don't think i think apart from that one that i recorded yesterday and put out i haven't had time to record anything so three is really good especially trying to work alongside it i mean that's i can't really put the extra one in <laughs> yeah that's my idea to do the, the 
<laughs> the clothing one. <laughs> I mean, I, I, get, I not, not every idea is a good idea. <laughs> But, you know, for a safe, he, uh, that's why your channel's growing so well. Because like three videos a week, you're being consistent, and um, it's obviously it's obviously working. People are loving it, so you know they're watching it. Try and, try and be consistent. Get it out the same time at the same on the same day. Yeah. yeah. Sort of every week for each video. We do the same and, thing with eBay, don't we? We we yeah. list a certain number every day, no matter what. Even mm. if we're out, we we come back. We still have to do it before we go to bed. It's yeah. It's how we mm. sort of. We set ourselves these these goals and these targets. It's sort mm. of how we do it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tam saying he's seventeen. Del seventeen days younger than Bill. Wow, all Ooh. these tall boys. Wow. Tall boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cooking the Hayden's UK videos. Uh, uh, eBay site has a common theme of art and design. I get a lot of repeat buyers. If uh, my site was more mixed, I would lose followers who buy. Did I only noticed it the other day? But if someone uh, has bought something off you previously, it actually tells you on there that they're a repeat buyer. Yeah, I think that's I'm a recent. recent. Oh, yeah, I think that's recent because mm. we, we noticed it as well, didn't we? Mm. Wow. Yeah, I've, I've never ever noticed it before and it said like this 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 person is a repeat buyer. Mm. So that was quite a, a good little thing that popped up the other day. Yeah, no sound yeah. if, if I don't have an interest or like an item, then it's hard hard job listing. Yeah, and the thing is, the things you're interested in are usually the things that you know about as well. So it's just easier to buy and sell things that you know about, isn't it? So because mm. you've already got that knowledge. I mean, that's a good thing. There are so many people now in the community that know about different things. Sean's the antiques. You know, you've got the luxury pickers or Chaddy Pete with the clothing. It's mm. like if you get stuck with something, it's it's so easy to find out about it now. Oh, There's someone. <laughs> We get yeah, so well, many people. No one ever asked me. Anything, I don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. no, we just we get a lot of messages helping us out, don't we? we do, you yeah. know, if, we, if I pronounce something wrong, then you know oh, someone will say, <laughs> someone will sort of let me know that I'm wrong. You, know, like you know, so it's nice um, that people want to sort of help. You know, mm. it's really nice. Yeah. Uh, Gary's saying, goes to take pics of Boppet Extreme too. I used to love picking up the Boppets in the in the in the lo first lockdown. I, I was making good money on Boppets. I mean, it, most people I found that a lot of sellers in in the first lockdown went for the consoles, the Wii's, the Xboxes, and the the games. I wasn't interested. I wasn't interested in that. I think I sold. I picked up one Xbox 360, which was boxed. It still had all the stickers untouched and um i paid 15 quid and sold it for about 110 and i what a, a wee that i bought which i probably made 30 or 40 quid on but i wasn't i didn't have the knowledge about them to like most people going out and buying bundles and bundles and bundles of them we, um, we did a we had a wee didn't we um a wee bundle that we did um i think we made about 60 60 a pound on that mm. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we, we're so we don't really know. I mean, I've still got uh, was it a couple of Xboxes, I think, yeah. out there. no, PlayStations, I think it might be that I haven't touched because I'm got a clue, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at it thinking, what the hell do I do with that? No, I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Well, because James, yeah. Joe, reselling James, he was he was buying loads of bundles i saw i can't remember who it was and i've said this before and then I've, they said oh yeah it was me that done that someone bought about 20 nintendo wii's hooked them all up and then did like a um, nintendo uh, a, a wii roulette so they'd, they'd obviously bought all these wii's and then they were going through pressing each one and ejecting and seeing whether they got a game inside it they ended up with loads of discs they got just on yeah. the discs it was incredible <laughs> um, Martin saying in, uh, nice one Tam cheers Martin Tam that's good easy to post uh, Chris is saying I think sometimes if you don't list things fairly quickly after picking them up you tend to fall out uh, of interest with them and it becomes harder to list the exciting moment of finding it is gone and you're 100% right because mm. so if I come back and I list something straight away and get it on, that's it, job done. But if I do 
for instance, like so I haven't listed the bag yet, but I picked it up the other day. And there are there are things like I've got some clothing around there that I picked up probably the week before last or the week before that. And because I haven't listed it, it's sat there and it sort of added itself to the pile of doom. So <laughs> yeah. it's, it's so backlog. Back you just know, just got to come back and list it. Yeah. It, it's so I think cool, it? It's, I think it's doing the videos has really helped us with that because mm. we we have to get all the information of the pricing ready for the video mm. whereas before mm. we just used to cherry pick the most expensive things and then just put the, it, just, the it, rest on the shelf didn't it we? would but still now, be sat there if, if we if we weren't doing the, the videos and made a, a, an effort yeah, to say this is what be, we're doing every week it would just still be sat there but now where we show mm. you know on the table here we sort of show them you know, and then show the price. Mm, and yeah. then as soon as the video's ended, it's like, right, we've got these 12 things, they can just go and be listed now. Mm. And, and so we're doing it in like little batches. It's so, yeah. it's really helped yeah. us. Yeah, it gives um, you a bit of accountability as well, doesn't it? It's like, I've got it here, I've shown everyone, I've got to do something with it now. Yeah, I so, can list it now, it's ready. <laughs> exactly. Um, Tony agrees with Chris, uh, sometimes you leave them so long, kind of like a surprise again when you get round to them as you've forgotten what you uh, bought. I had so much stuff when I was sorting out stuff for the car boots house that I just don't even remember buying. Don't even remember getting it. Um, it's as if it's appeared from, from nowhere, but it is a nice thing to, to, to uh, find them again, but it's just so much better. Like I say, I've given, I mean, this, this room, the shed, if you go back on my old videos, the stuff was literally stacked to the ceiling. You, could, you couldn't move in here. I had that much room, like a gap to get in and out of the shed. It was, it was, it was atrocious. It was like living in Steptoe's yard in here. It was horrible. And <laughs> it, it, it stressed me out. And it, it, it would get me down. And getting rid of it all, I've sold it a car boot or given it away. Um, it's just such a relief because I, you know, getting a bit of space again. Um, yeah, I get that. It's so yeah, frustrating. It, it does affect it, you, especially mentally. Yeah. It, if it's if we've got tat everywhere in all the rooms, we try desperately to try and keep it to the garage, mm. but it's not. It is in the house mm. and it's in various rooms, and it um, you're tripping over it. You're seeing it every day, mm. and you just sometimes we just have to go out mm. and we'll go and sit at the, at the seaside and just look at the sea. And mm. it, it, sometimes you don't want to come home because it's it's just it's everywhere and it, it you know it's one of the worst things to deal with really isn't it it's yeah but yeah. you can't help it you're like next day you're back out again by him or you just can't help yourself no that's uh, it that, that's the business it. isn't it but like I, I say I used to just call this the room of doom I wouldn't go near it and then I'd have <laughs> to do my YouTube and like squeeze past everything and I'd be knocking things over and it was literally to the ceiling it was horrible. And a lot of it was just junk that when I was looking after my brother, when he was ill, I was spending more time up with him than I was down here. And and like I'd still be buying stuff. I'd be going to charity shops up there and then coming back with a carload of stuff and putting it on the pile. And then I'd have to go back up again. So I didn't actually get it listed and then do the same thing again. And it was just, it, it was just getting out of hand. So mm. although I've probably... I'm probably quite a few pounds out of pocket by giving it all away. I feel so much better up here. Um, oh, yeah. By having that clear out. Um, I agree, Chris. Sometimes you leave them so long. I was read that. Um, Jones saying, cooking a Hayden so, so true. I'm beginning to hate some of my long term tat. It laughs at me from the dark corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's so true. It's so true. Like, you just know. You put stuff over there, so you think, oh, I'll deal with that later. And then, like, you look at it and you think, I still don't want to deal with it. And I still don't want to deal with it. And, uh, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's not good. Harder well, to let go. Moved. See what? There's nothing here that I'm hard to let go of. <laughs> no, we moved four years ago, didn't we? And um, mm. and we had a temporary store for when we moved. And then, then yeah. it came into lockdown and all these things. And there, we had all these excuses as to why we couldn't clear the store. Just kept finding excuses, didn't we? So and it was four years, wasn't it? Yeah, it's and, a very long temporary. And this year we, <laughs> we'd run out of money, so we, we needed to clear it. And um, and mm. Carl, Chris said to us, just be brutal and just get rid of stuff. And, yeah. you know, we had been paying to house just a load of tat. Yeah. A lot of it, yeah. a lot of it was our daughter's um, childhood thing. So they, mm. you know, there was things we wanted to keep. But, yeah. 
you know, she didn't want to keep some of her toys, and mm. we'd, we'd kept everything. And we, we kept them for four years. Well, four kept years things for four moved. years, yeah. Mm. So sometimes I mean, you just step through brutal and just, mm. just get on with it yeah. and clear it. I mean, I think my worst thing I ever did in my reselling was taking on a storage unit. Mm. Absolutely ridiculous. You know, I take on a unit and I did it two or three times. Oh, new video. I'm moving into a storage unit. New video a couple of months later. I'm moving out of the storage unit. Then I'm moving <laughs> out of the storage unit. So for one, it's so stressful. I hate moving anything. And for two, it's just a waste of money because by the time you paid a few months, you know, if eBay's rubbish for that few months, it, it's, it starts eating into your profit. And then by the time your two or three months has gone past, the, the stock isn't worth anything, you know, because yeah. of what you've paid and in the rent you've paid, it's just not worth it. Mm. That's one thing I'd never do again. I'd rather have no stock and just go and buy it each day rather than end up getting a storage unit. It's just too much. Lucky enough, mm -hmm. I, you know, the wife's pretty strict. I used to have it in the storage. It was in here to the ceiling. In the, then it creep into the conservatory. And then it would be in a little spare bedroom upstairs. And like she's now, there's just none of it now. She's having none of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying I have an original full-size of Doors promotional poster from the release of their second album in 1967 framed on my wall. I bet that's worth a few quid. Got it in a mixed mm. lot. Last one in California was over three thousand mm. pounds. Wow, that's nice. Right. If you ever want to sell it for a fiver, Sean, let me know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Chris is saying good appearance on Pete uh, the Jar show on Thursday. Gary Husty. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite, it's quite a good, uh, good little show as well. Uh, mm. Gonna head to bed. Night, everyone. Night, Becky. Hello. Uh, um, if your stock needs dusting, your method needs adjusting. I like that. <laughs> what a great saying. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I really like that. Um, you can. Uh, my driver now uh, is lack of space. I need to process. I can't leave it out. When you look at Sean's um, Instagram, like he takes the photos of his bits and pieces, it looks like he's it, it looks like he lives in a in a like a museum, an art gallery. It's like <laughs> all the nice paintings and the, the, the antiques and that. It's lovely. Uh, I think I think between Sean and Santa, the Carolina Claus, I think you've got the best two Instagrams on on Instagram. I think they're the best two accounts. I love. <laughs> uh, average profit conversion is 50p to a pound into 15 pound that's not bad that's not bad going not you get like, mm. i've got to sell 10 of them a day and nothing else that day may just sell boppets yeah. uh paul and marie your backlog videos inspired me to get my finger out and i'm also going through the death pole some of the clothing i picked up early was dire i was convinced i knew better well there you go see see people are watching your videos and taking notice Excellent. <laughs> so, it, it, like I said earlier, if you haven't uh, subbed to these guys, their links are in the, the uh, description. If a mod wants to put the link in again for me, then we'll see if uh, see, if anyone's not subbed, please sub to, to Paul and Marie. M's Den UK, brilliant channel. Um, Tam, that's great. They've inspired me too. Oh, look, there you go. Joan saying you've inspired them uh, as well. Uh, but I'm not doing enough yet. Just watching makes me think I've done some work myself. I'm the same. <laughs> I'm the same. I'm the same. I'll, I'll just watch someone's videos and I go, oh, yeah, I've got to do that. God, I've worked hard today. Oh, <laughs> I can now. Yeah. I'll watch some more videos. Uh, totally agree with that, guys. Tat everywhere is overwhelming to look at and deal with sometimes. Uh, Gary, honestly, my mood, like just, I couldn't even come in here just because I knew what was going to face me um doing these doing these car boots and getting a bit of cash spending a bit of time with my daughter jade as well and getting and and on the way home taking the the stuff that hasn't sold taking it to the charity shop has just been it's been such a relief uh yes jane even just really organizing everything is a huge chore but it makes everything so much easier that's one thing I've got to do as well is just get organised because I've got no organisation. I've got no bins. Do you, do you label all your bins up so you know where everything is and put SKU numbers on? Never ever yeah. done it. That's why I'm 
find anything when it sells. <laughs> Absolutely not. If you've seen a, it's, it's a few of my older videos, I'm going, oh, yeah, I've got to look for this. And I don't know. I don't, I think it's there and it's never there. And I, <laughs> I, I, I watch my videos and go, Rich, I remember watching you sorting them, D, them CDs out and you put them in, in the uh, sarcophagus. <laughs> and I go in there and, like, it, d due to people, someone that's watched my video, a subscriber, like, I've, I've managed to find it. Other than that, I'm searching through, like, the other side and, like, it's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no stock but to list what you pick up each day great plan that is my ultimate goal that is my ultimate goal uh gonna have to dip out but it's been uh speedometer listening to this and i'll catch up in a bit uh huge shout out to paul and marie and obviously yourself rich too thank you max thank, thank you. you mate see ya. more popular than cocaine in a nightclub toilet you should all be subbed already but if you're not here it is cookie and hayden <laughs> We love cooking the Haydens, don't we? Oh, we do, yeah. <laughs> I've got I've, I've got my Chopper Chops crew cap. So I'm, oh, it's not there. Look, my Chopper Chops crew cap. So I've got I'm a member of the Chopper Chops crew, and it is yeah, so we're crew members. Yeah. Well, we've only got the one hat. Yeah, we're tight. We've <laughs> we only got one hat. We got one hat. We yeah. share it. <laughs> I did get I did get them to sign it. It's yeah, devalued it great. Right. It's devalued it greatly, but you know. It's the it, yeah. it counts. <laughs> uh, take all my fouls to the car boot. Not really a risk in uh, buying stock. At least I can get my money back there. Hundred percent. Sometimes it's the best way. Sometimes I've I've taken stuff off of eBay and, and just it's gone so quick at a car boot. Um, Santa's not been on. No, Santa. I haven't seen Santa tonight. Hmm. All the kids are okay. Oh, my mum's talking to Jay. That was the weird thing. The first time I saw my mum's name pop up in the chat, I thought, what's she doing in it? <laughs> and it wasn't, I don't think it was even on my chat. I was what's my mum doing in it? <laughs> I'm like, mum? Weird. <laughs> yeah. Never daughter. It's like a family meeting now. So <laughs> uh, all right. Keep thinking uh, it's a good problem to have. At least I have some great stock and can afford to be super picky now. Thing is, Gary, you, you can't just keep buying it. You have to sell it. <laughs> That's your problem. Did anyone get the... Uh, uh, <laughs> asking for a friend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah, don't worry, I'll jot it down. <laughs> anyone did get it, just watch it back and get noted down. <laughs> Good evening, Flip and Phil. Uh, hi, chat. Hi, number two times uh hi rich and m's den oh there you go uh hi calf hi number ones gary saying number ones and number twos uh aa is in good evening uh sean saying more wholesome than you depraved lot deserve so put down the lever and rubber at accoutrements unclass the mask and uh, that's not to read and accoutrements god i'm proper <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know how I managed to say that. Um, <laughs> so there's your channel link. So if you haven't subscribed, like I say, please do me a favour. Go over and check them out. You will end up subscribing and you, you will be happy with what you see. They're, they're great. Uh, I love the bloopers. <laughs> I love it all, but I love the bloopers especially. Um, I just don't think we're going to get it right, will we? No, we love it watching is, our bloopers yeah. better, don't we? We, we sit yeah. there laughing at ourselves, don't we? Yeah. Oh. Right. What <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so with your business um are you happy with just going on as you are or have you got plans for it to build and grow or you know have you got goals that you'd like to sort of hit with your business well i think it's like anything you always want a bit more um with with it being two of us it's this year's not been so great, yeah. so um, mm. you know we're trying to look at how we can achieve more sales. Yeah, yeah. We're trialing this other site, aren't we, to do the niching thing to see if it actually works. Yeah. Um, the thing we found with the clothing is we sort of started it to do something nice for Emily to try and raise some money for Emily's birthday, mm. and mm. we've sort of really enjoyed doing it. We've um, enjoyed learning about the clothes. We've enjoyed yeah. going out and having a, a, a morning where we go sourcing. 
Um, so we're sort of hoping it goes okay. And if it does, we might carry on because we are learning quite a bit about them, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, eventually it might be the, the bulk of it. Yeah. Um, but um, but no, it's, it's sort of, we, we tend to trial little bits and bobs. Yeah, something's not working. We, we, we always tweak it, we tweak or... it until mm. we get it right. Mm. And um, we over the years, we've done all sorts, haven't we, to oh, try yeah, and just things, try and keep yeah. going. Mm. Mm. Um, do you think? Do you we, think that doing this thing with raising the money for for Emily? Do you think that's made you work harder and sort of, you know, sort of where you think, oh, I might, I might sort of slip a day off today, or I don't feel like doing so much day. Do you think that's made you sort of more focused on on your business doing that, having that goal? I think on, yeah, I think on the clothing side because you you have to source, you have to know what to source. Um, then you have to source it, and then you have to find oh, out what the prices are worth. So it, it's turned out to be quite a bit of work hmm. per week. Yeah. Um, but because of that, we now, when we go to charity shops, we can see the brands quite quickly now yeah, and yeah. Know, know what the value is that they will sell for. So, yeah. um, you know, we have found it quite enjoyable. We have, yeah. I mean, um, you're always learning. You, you, you never know everything, and um, it's, it's, yeah. sort of, it's pushing us, isn't it? To... Yeah, and I think you, you sort of look at what you're doing and and pick out the best bits so for example shoes i i prefer to list shoes than i do clothing yeah. because it's quicker um so i was only saying to paul and today I take the photo you take the photo <laughs> yeah we have got a bit of a deal <laughs> well, going well, shoes, shoes footwear and shoes is easier because I, what i find when i'm when i'm doing shoes it all looks lovely when i'm doing clothing the colors never come out right when i'm taking the photos of clothes. i'll do it all on my phone so the colours always look off when I'm doing clothing, unless I unless I take it, unless it's nice outside and I take the photos outside. If I do it indoors, the light always looks dodgy. No, we 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 have this system where I do half of everything and then Paul does the other half. So I do the listing, but, but when it gets to the photography, Paul always does the photography. But yeah. with the um, how we're working at the minute, Paul's doing all the editing for the YouTube and and everything else as well so mm. you don't really have time to do the clothes so i said oh i'll learn how to do the clothes you know do the photos mm. so we've had a fair few pictures of my feet <laughs> we've had pictures of the tv but all sorts of these duff photos that i've been <laughs> producing <laughs> but when it, when it comes to the shoes paul's got like a special um like a lighting box you set up I, yeah it's, it's just a, a little area that i set up a while ago that i made a light to go over the top of it to shine down and just light up the whole area so if we have shoes but, they just go to paul and paul yeah. does them so that's why i prefer doing the shoes because i don't have to do the photography you, yeah you end up doing good photos do you use your phone for, for, you, for your ebay or do you use a, a proper camera no, I used, well, I used to use a proper camera, but I actually mm. found that the, the photos were coming out better on the phone. Mm. So I tend to use the app and go straight through the app now and upload them from there. We do um, all the listing and drafts on the desktop. Mm. Then we save it and um, add all the photos and, and all that from the from the app. Mm. Uh, and then we do a final check on the computer, don't we? And list yeah. Them. And then what, uh, what what soft, what software do you do for editing your your um YouTube? Um, well, because I'm I'm a, I'm a cheapskate, <laughs> I use a free one. Oh <laughs> it's, it's, um, <laughs> do you do no, all that for uh, your phone mode as well? Sorry, do, do you do the editing for your YouTube? No, 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 I don't. I'm I'm oh, quite I, I, I tend to do it on desktop. I use um, Shotcut. Um, okay. Yeah, it, it seems to pretty much do everything you need to do. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I tend to do most things on the desktop. Yeah. The, See, the I, 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 used to do, I used to do my YouTube on, the, on my laptop. But then when I started trying to do 4K and 1080 and all that, it just it just seemed to, like, when I was editing, you know, and you'd watch it back, it was just really jolty. I was using Premiere Pro, and I thought it was amazing. It was amazing software. But now, like, mm. the phones are so good. I mean, that, I just use it for everything. I, do, I, I use Kinemaster, and I literally do everything on my phone. All my videos are done on my phone and, and my listing and everything. It's yeah. just, it's mental when you think, when uh, the phone yeah. came out with texting and stuff, I actually had to get my daughter to show me how to text. I didn't <laughs> even know how to use text. 
it was crazy and like you could you definitely couldn't get pictures on the phones and all that you know in the old knockers and that and now like mm. you know, you face calling people around the world and and it's just it's just crazy what you can do with it it is crazy um, uh, she'll say my photos are now mainly taken with a table balanced on my sofa so i get some natural light from my window i always edit the main photo of my desktop on my desktop it's the most important image it has to be right mm. yeah i've done i've done all that like leaning things up against things to try and make it you know i've what that's one thing i've got to do is get a nice james has got a lovely you know most people ricky uh, you know chris they've all got their lovely backdrops for taking their photos of their ebay stuff and I usually do mine either in the kitchen on the side against the tiles or outside. <laughs> it's like I need I need a, a specific pho photography area. Um, I mean, for the clothes, you know, seeing if it's seeing how it takes off. If it does go well, we're going to make up a, a specific area so they can lay flat mm. um, yeah. with some lights, lights on them. Um, yeah. And you know, do it properly just to make it quicker as well. We're trying, yeah. We always look at how we can do things better. That's yeah. that's what we do. We trial something, and if it doesn't work, we tweak it. Yeah, it's so as fast as possible, but yeah, good quality. Yeah, we that's try what to, we try. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you start, like even now, sometimes I'll start listing things and. It doesn't take as obviously it doesn't take as long as when you first start doing it and getting into it. But like it's like James has, has got his obviously he's come off social media to to concentrate on his business and he's fine tuned it so well. You know, mm. like I say, he buys ten things a day, sells eight a day all the time, day in and day out. He's got two photography areas already, but when I go up to his, he wants me to build like a special like photography table so he can do sort of uh flat lay on an angle and whatever he, whatever way he wants to do yeah. it so that he can do it you know um, it sounds like a similar sort of thing because we were going to do it so it's flat against the wall then pull it out so it's uh, so nice an angle. Sort of angle yeah um so yeah. you can lay it all yeah. out and it's all lit up nice um yeah so that's the plan we use a mannequin which looks nice but you're forever getting it on and off on and off all the time and it's trying to Trying to make it quicker. Trying to, yeah, trying mm. to make it quicker if we can. Mm. Does anybody use a uh, photo box for their photos? I was going to actually originally buy a photo box because I thought that, you know, they looked really good, but I've got nowhere to, to put it. It's having the space, I think, to have a photo box. I've never actually used one, but I, th I think some of them now are quite good because they've got, it's just collapsible and it's got all the, the LEDs already built into it. So it's like, literally you put it up and it's there it's, no, um, it's yeah. quite cool yeah. um if you are selling uh something that people understand eg uh, monopoly i'm convinced that the photo has to be amazing bad photo uh no but the best the best is unnecessary yeah i think i, I think really you know the photos and the title has just got to be spot on Cameras on phones are silly good nowadays. Voice shutter, multiple lenses, like, like brilliant. I mean, and some, you know, I think my one, I think you just, if you do a certain hand gesture, it starts recording or it takes a photo. It's mental, it's just mental what they got there. Um, Can you program a hand gesture? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Sean's saying technology is amazing. My mum is 80, uh, never had a mobile or a computer. Bought her an Amazon tablet in February when she was very unwell. No word of a lie. She has been on it six months solid. The TV is off. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Ah, talking of, you just reminded me, Sean, saying your mum's 80. Um, I had a, a lovely lady buy, um, she bought a jigsaw puzzle from me. No, it wasn't. Tell a lie. It wasn't a jigsaw puzzle. It was a labyrinth game, actually. Her mum is 85 tomorrow. So I want to give a big shout out and say hello to the Duchess. Happy 85th birthday tomorrow. I did remember. So there you go. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday. Um, right, guys. So hopefully... Hopefully, there's some people in it didn't know about you before that do now. Um, I say it was so lovely to meet you when you came down that day and 
so we had a good chat you know you bought me you bought me look let's still here and i have i've had a couple of glasses out of it but you know you bought me <laughs> they bought me some bombay sapphire which oh, you know <laughs> it, you know it was a lovely day and i'm planning another meet up hopefully you'll come down again it'd be nice yeah, um yeah and, and you know there's a lot of people that are saying they want to come to, to the next one so that's all good but thank you for coming on um and I want to say thank you to everybody else for watching as well. If you haven't subbed, go and sub. If you haven't seen their Instagram, go and check out the Instagram. But definitely go and check them out and uh, and, and give them a sub. That will be thank appreciated. You. Can we just can we just thank you as well? Because I know that you've had a you know tough year and everything, and you're always here on a Saturday night for everyone, and it oh, makes such a lot of difference to everyone. So we just want to thank you as well, and thank you for having oh. us on. Thank you. Promote us and other people, and it's so you're so lovely. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Didn't have to say that. Oh, no, you lovely. That. And you're so lovely. <laughs> 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 thank you. It's lovely. Um, what's this? Uh, live, live. You, you always say, uh, wish you all the best going forward. Nice to see you both on a the live. There you go, um, guys. I think that was supposed to say, love you guys. Love you guys. You always say hello. Wish all the best going on. There you go. Thank you. Uh, great show. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, for, like I say, for coming and seeing us. Thank you. Oh, look, we love you, Rich. Oh, thank you, Sean. Sean's amazing. Oh, no. he, 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 yeah. he comes out with all these things, but he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's amazing. Oh, I thought mine disappeared. That's amazing. That is amazing. We couldn't leave it behind. <laughs> we got a few things now, didn't we? Yeah. It reminds us of you. Oh, that's <laughs> we got twins. Yeah, we've got me oh, twins. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, been watching uh, Re Retron's reseller is just saying, been watching M's Den a lot. Amazing couple, make me laugh, keep up the good work. Oh, that's amazing. And it, it's so many lovely words, I can't go through it all. Uh, Tam and Bell say a new video dropping right after this, so everybody go and check that out. But thank you to you guys for coming on. Thank, well, well, thank you to you three guys for coming on. Uh, we love that you're part of the Broccoli Boy crew. Um, yeah, thank you, everybody. And yeah, get checking the M's Den out. And I'll see you all next week. See you later. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.